Hey everybody, welcome back to Real Good Pilates. I'm Michelle, and today I've got for you a cardio jump board reformer workout using a ball as an additional prop. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So it's gonna be kind of a jump heavy class, but all of the jumping sets that we do are gonna be on lighter springs. So it's gonna be really core focused and get our whole body going. And I think you're gonna really love it. So let's go down to just a single red spring. So a little bit lighter, a little bit more core work. So come on down to your back. We're gonna take our right foot onto the jump board, sitting bone distance apart. Your left leg is gonna come up to tabletop. So we're gonna do some single leg jumps. You're gonna take both of your hands, kind of you can stack them one over the other or have them side by side. The hands are gonna be gently pressing into the ball as well as this tabletop knee gently pressing into the ball. So take a breath in, don't even jump yet. I just want you to exhale and find a little bit of connection, like you're trying to gently squeeze a little bit of the air out of the ball from both sides, and then inhale, let it go. Do that just two more times. So try to stay in a nice neutral spine. You can imprint if that feels better to you. All right, one more time. Now end up with like 50% pressure on the ball. So something you can maintain. Elbows down at 45 degrees. Now as you exhale, try to keep that 50% pressure on the ball and start jumping off of the right foot. Yes, now we don't wanna hold 90% pressure on the ball because we'll tuck her out and we'll get too tired too soon. So we want just enough connection to feel a little bit of fire going on on this left side. Now make sure your shoulders have a little bit of breathing room away from the shoulder blocks. Okay, now you can keep your head on the mat or if you're feeling up for it, we're gonna lift our head and shoulders up push into the ball a little deeper from our core and hold ourselves up in flexion. Now, if your neck is not feeling great, you could place one hand behind the head or bring the head back to the mat. We'll do three more. Two, one, and then relax down. Whew. Okay, let's try that on the other side. So jumping isn't always just about the legs. It can be so much for our abs and arms as well. So now let's go left foot as the jumper, right leg comes up to tabletop, place your two hands on the ball, and then do a couple of those tester presses. So exhale, try to squeeze a teeny bit of air out of the ball, inhale, let it go. Exhale. All right, now pause with like 50% pressure on the ball. Keep that same amount of connection as you start to jump. Good, feel wide through those collarbones. Make sure you're softening your landing by articulating your foot. So land toe ball heel, take off heel ball toe. Now lift your head and shoulders. If you're feeling up for it, try to curl as much of those shoulder blades off as you can. And then you can modify like we talked about with one hand behind or lowering the head down for three two, one, and then relax. Whew, nicely done. Okay, so now right foot goes back to being the jumper. Left leg is gonna reach straight up or as straight as you can get it. And then probably imprint your spine for this one. It'll make this straight leg feel a little better. All right, take the ball in one hand. Doesn't matter which. We're gonna leave our left leg straight up the whole time. Right leg is gonna be the jumper the whole time. So my arms are out in a T. I'm gonna jump, my legs will make an L shape, and I'm gonna pass the ball to my opposite hand, and then I land. And I do that again, jump and grab, land with the ball in my new hand. And land, very good. Now, if I wanted to work a little harder through my abs, I would lift my head up when I pass the ball, lower when I land. Lift, and then lower, very good. Now, if this is uncomfortable, on the top leg, you could soften your knee a little bit and make that more comfortable. Okay, couple more. Now, the final option is to keep your head and shoulders up for the most ab work. We'll do three more. Two, try to get up and over those shoulder rests with the shoulders, 
and then come down and rest. Whew. All right, let's try that on the other side. So right leg up as straight as you feel good about. Arms out to the side, imprint the spine. Ooh, my legs are shaking, I can't make that leg straighten all the way. Okay, here we go. So now we pass the ball, land, pass and land. If you're having trouble reaching behind the leg, bending the knee is a good option, yes. Or lifting the head makes it easier to reach. Not so easy on the abs though, sorry. <laughs> reach and lower, couple more. If you so choose, maybe leave the head up and off. Four, three, two, one, and then relax down. Whew. Awesome job. Okay, now place the right foot on, reach the left leg up in that same position we just were in. Now we're gonna go into a scissor. So we're gonna alternate which leg we land on every time the arms will still be passing the ball behind. So let's give it a try. Arms out, you can have head down, head lifting and lowering, or head staying up. I think I'll try a few of each, all right? For me, I think I'm switching the legs first, then passing the ball, then landing. But if you wanna pass it and then switch, I don't know, you figure out what coordination works best for you. But just think, switch, pass, land, in whatever order makes the most sense, all right? So we're gonna go switch, land, switch, land. And it doesn't matter which hand has the ball at which time, you can decide. Very good. Okay, now maybe lift and lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower, or secret option number three, just stay up. This one almost feels a little easier because you can at least see what your legs are doing. Whew, very good, you guys. Let's do a couple more here. Pick which option you like with the upper body. Three more, two, last one, and then relax down. Whew, so well done. All right, last one of these jumps here and then we'll switch gears. So now just palm the ball on either side with your two hands. Bring your ankles and your knees together. Imprint your spine and take a couple of just kind of regular jumps. So I'm squeezing the ball to feel connected to my scapula. My rib cage stays heavy. All right, let's do one more. And then go ahead and come to the bottom and pause. Now lift your head and shoulders up. Reach the ball over your knees. Now do a couple jumps here. So we're holding that flexion. You could do one hand behind the head or place the head back on the mat. All right, now we're gonna challenge our ribs by moving the arms. When we jump, reach the ball overhead and land. Overhead, land. Your shoulders might touch the shoulder blocks a little bit, that's okay. We'll just take four more, three, two, last one, and then come all the way down. Whew. So, so good, you guys. All right, shake it out. All right, let's come on up. And with that, we are all done with our cardio jump board workout using the ball. I hope you loved it. I loved doing it with you. And I can't wait to see you back here on the Reformer very soon. So I'll see you then. Bye. You did it. Way to go on completing today's workout. I hope you feel amazing. If you want to see even more from Real Good Pilates, click the link down below or right up here to head to my website and claim your seven day free trial for the Real Good Pilates on demand subscription platform where you'll find even more fun and challenging ways to work out with me that are all completely ad free plus tons of subscription exclusive workouts that you won't find anywhere else. So I hope you'll try it out and I can't wait for you to join me for even more Real Good Pilates. I'll see you over there. Bye.